Well, the Corps has activated their stage two flood fight. That means more levee inspections and any work near the levee has to stop. They're also recommending that the river be released into Lake Pontchartrain on Thursday. Everyone has a role to play. We are ready for this year's flood fight. Local, state and federal agencies working together to manage the Mississippi again. This is the third high water event on the river in the last three years and the second time the body carry will be used since 2016. We anticipate hitting the triggers to operate the body carry spillway this Thursday, March 8th. Those triggers are the speed and height of the Mississippi River, which is expected to rise from 14 feet above sea level at the Carrollton Gauge today to 17 feet. And the Corps says that's a threat to the levees that protect New Orleans. They're just not designed to take much more water than that. So uh, your worst case is levee failures, which would be catastrophic. The Corps estimates it will keep the water flowing through the spillway for about three weeks. But the river, swollen with rain from the north, could be diverted longer if heavy rains return. Really, it's the next couple of weeks. Rainfall is going to be the key as to exactly how high we will get on the lower part of the river. And while the river is dangerously high, there are additional precautions on the water and on the levee. With the high water, uh, the closer you get to the water's edge, the more dangerous it becomes. So we encourage people to be aware and not go near the water. And the Corps did say today that they do not anticipate opening up the Morganza spillway. That's upriver from us around Baton Rouge. They did say, though, that does depend also on the weather up north. Reporting live at the riverfront, I'm Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.